In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your voice from sounding like this to sounding more like this, like you're on a podcast inside Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm gonna first start inside Premiere Pro here. I have two clips. This is how my audio sounds for my podcast, right out of the microphone. So this is the original recording. In today's episode, I sit down with Matt Reisinger. All right, so that's where we're starting at. Let's see how we can spruce up this audio. First, I recommend setting your audio again. You can do this by clicking on the clip inside your Premiere Pro timeline, clicking G on your keyboard to bring up audio gain, and then just click on normalize max peak two, and then you can put in negative six. This will make the max peak set to negative six, and if your audio is a little bit lower, it'll just adjust it a little bit. So if you click OK, you might notice that your audio gets slightly adjusted. What I recommend doing next is adding an EQ. What an EQ allows you to do is manually edit the frequencies that you hear in your voice. Now, one of my favorite EQ effects inside Premiere Pro is called Parametric Equalizer. So I'm gonna go navigate to the effects panel and search for Parametric Equalizer. Then I'm gonna click and drag it to my audio clip inside my timeline. And then inside effects controls, we can easily click the edit button and you should see this window. Now on the left side is our low frequencies, our bass. On the right side is our high frequencies. So our treble, the high end in our voice, and in the middle is our midtones. And what's really nice about this effect is you can automatically apply a preset from the presets. And probably one of the best ones for a podcast voice to just enhance your voice is called Vocal Enhancer. So if we select that, you can see what it does, kind of boosts the lows a little bit and it boosts the highs. This will make your voice sound more crisp, more clear. So once you've applied that, you can fine tune the points if you wish. If you don't want it to be as high, you can bring it down. Sometimes I do that. But for the most part, this will get your voice sounding nice and clear. Now, after you apply parametric equalizer, another effect I recommend adding is a compressor. This will make the highs and lows of your voice, if it's inconsistent, more consistent. It brings the highs and the lows, kind of compresses it and brings it more together. Now, one effect I like to use inside Premiere Pro is called tube modeled compressor. If we click and drag this to our clip, we can go and click edit. This brings up a compressor for us. First, you have threshold. This is at what amount the compressor will start activating at. So when your audio reaches this point in audio level, it'll start applying compression to it. Now next you have ratio. I recommend changing it from one to maybe three or four. I'm gonna choose four for now. And if we click play, I'm gonna change the threshold and you'll start to see the compressor do its thing. Post Show Podcast. I'm your host, John, the video guy. In today's episode, I sit down with Matt Reisinger. Matt is the owner of Elite Entertainment. So as you can see, it starts compressing the audio when the audio is more than negative 24 decibels. Now by default here, it sounds pretty low. And what you can do is add some makeup gain by changing the output gain here. So let's say if we change it up to maybe 12 decibels and now we click play, it sounds really good. So if you're a wedding videographer, or interested in getting into the wedding industry. And just to show you the difference, this is what we started with. Just some fun stories from weddings he's worked on. And this is what it sounds like after. And also, just some fun stories from weddings he's worked on. But that's how you can make the podcast voice inside Premiere Pro. If you want to learn more about Premiere Pro, here's a video that you might like right up there. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.